Sky 10 is over a fire here. This is apparently 1700 West Hill Road in Lakeside. You can see the black smoke just billowing up into the air as we pull back here a little bit. Uh, a neighborhood here with the homes close enough together that this is a concern. Trying to get a, a sensor. You can see some flashing lights there uh, just beyond the trees in terms of the response to this. But now we've got this situation going on unrelated to the uh, what, what has now been said is was not actually an active shooter situation at Naval Medical Center San Diego. Yeah, this is in the Lakeside and as we zoom in, you can see it's you know, surrounded by homes. There is a, a, a little area there that's open, maybe a, uh, a grassy area, but that is a structure right next to that. And as we take our sky tent around this tree here, you'll be able to see what kind of, of, of house or building is on fire. That oh. thing is fully involved. Yeah. In fact, firefighters aren't even putting water on it just yet. That is a mobile home. Now we're able to see what it is right there, parked right beside this street. This might be a mobile home that belongs to somebody who lives in that house there uh, next door, but uh, it is fully involved. Firefighters just getting to the scene right now haven't even put water on it yet. Yeah, you can see one of the firefighters there beyond that mobile home. Wow, it is destroyed. You can see the flames just eating it up. And uh, you can see some cars there to the right. They're going to want to get a handle on this as quickly as possible so the flames don't jump with some of the brush there. But there's a house not too far away either, but you can see the winds pushing the smoke in the other direction. Yeah, that's a, a relatively new RV uh, with the slide outs out. As you if we zoom out here, you can see uh, it doesn't appear, at least from behind, that some of the other structures are in danger because of the wind and where it's going. Sky 10 sort of flying right into the path of some of that, that thick smoke. And you can see our picture is going to be a little bit cloudy here. Looks like they are in the process of uh, making sure that all those in the other areas and some of the other homes are safe. And from there, you can see a couple of uh, police officers and fire uh, officials there on the scene. They're going to have to knock on some doors and make sure people are, are staying safe and alert in the, uh, the neighborhood, just some of the close by uh, homes. Yeah, and of course, we will be checking in. Uh, and hopefully there was nobody in there. Yeah. I mean, the hope is that however this started, that there was no one actually in that that RV. So again, we're trying to get some more information for you here on how this started and uh, make sure that everyone's OK. So we continue to st we'll continue to stay with this then we uh, are seeing what is now the the charred remains of an RV with with this area. Firefighters have knocked on the doors of that home right there and it appears as though that RV belongs to somebody who lives in that home right there and there's a the grassy area. We've covered many fires here that are sort of in an open area like this and I'm not sure if there were people uh, walking by or if this is just strictly a mechanical failure from this RV. So we're going to look into that. We've got a reporter headed that way to find out what's happening here in Lakeside. Yeah.